We got five. We got five. Talk to each other. Super excited about the summer for D Rod. He uh, showed us a lot his rookie season. Roddy offensive rebound oh! and he packs it with authority. Oh, Harmony lost it. Roddy on the takeaway. Roddy lays it up and in. Energizer Roddy. Just attacked with an amazing work ethic. Learned the game, got a lot of opportunity, especially middle to late of the season. And now this is an opportunity for him to really take, what did I learn my entire rookie season? And then focus on this summer development opportunity, summer league being a big part of that. I wake you up. David Roddy, we saw last season, clearly has the athleticism to, to be a great NBA player. He's, he's as big as anybody he's gonna go up against as strong as anyone he's gonna grow up against. We saw him literally jump over people and dunk the ball last year. Oh! I think with David Roddy, it's more like figuring out how that fits into the kind of grander scheme of what the Grizzlies need from him. For me, he's a versatile player. Offensively, can he play on the wing? Can he play, you know, the three and the four positions? I'm all, I'm all, Shiv, Shiv, Shiv. Defensively, can we get him to grow in a lot of different areas where he's guarding a lot of different actions? Can he guard one through five? Can we challenge him to take on those matchups in this summer? Now's a great test to really take this opportunity in summer league, grow with it, and then get ready for a great second season. Corner. Lock in, lock in, here we go, wake up. Ready, go. Coming into the second year, you have more experience, you can share it with the rookies and the younger guys. I know he talked to you, just trying to split it a little bit more, so you're more out here. You gotta be just slightly, just more in the middle. Split so between the, like the screener? Yeah, right. between the ball and the screener. So, cause if you get too much out, that's a dump ball. Coach has uh, really challenged me with that leadership part and just being vocal and, and the rest of the coaching staff as well. So, um, you know, I'm gonna take on that, that challenge and um, just enjoy it. Let's go energy, fellas. It's not gonna be like a face in block. It's just gonna be like a rear view, like. You're on the ball, you stay on the drive. When you're on the, when you're on the ball, you stay on the ball. Okay. Hey, fellas. All right, fellas. Hey, we got warm. We got everything. We're the vets. Here we go, blue lock in. Back and get back. Take ball, take. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Last summer league, you know, you're fresh in. You just got drafted. Uh, you flew down to Memphis for a few days, and then you're in training camp. So. There's just a lot of thoughts going through your head. Um, I mean, so many questions to ask, new ex experiences, new environment. Um, coming in in the second year now, you know, you have a full year under your belt. You're more comfortable in the system and you know where everyone needs to be and where you need to be too. There's just a lot of more comfortability and just going out there and having fun and enjoying summer league. Shot clock at 12, game clock at 14. Here's Roddy, going to bruise his way inside. Got the rim and in. Yeah, 18 points tonight and a big one here. There's a lot of things that you know I focused on during the summer. Just being a more consistent shooter, getting more in shape as well, just becoming a, a great on-ball defender and a team defender. And you know, again, improving my ball handling and playmaking skills as well. Oh, got the ooze and the eyes off the no-look pass from Roddy. Seeing David Roddy have his 21-point performance on 8 of 11 shooting in that final game against the Lakers. Roddy the other way through the lane with two hands. I thought once again encapsulated his potential with this team and its potential that we've seen all season long in his rookie season with the Grizzlies. This is a player that provided meaningful minutes in the playoffs for the Grizzlies and then had an incredibly busy summer. But to see him go off for 21, you continue to see his abilities as a screener, as a cutter, saw some of his playmaking abilities as well. I think it continues to give you a lot of optimism for what his game can continue to grow into. Where you play uh, last season? Hustle? Memphis. I was in. No, 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 no. I, I saw you play because we played you guys. Yeah. Guys, uh, summer Oh, I started with Golden State. We did like something like this. The Grizzlies have had great success with developing two-way players, and Summer League is the perfect jumping off point for that. With having three two-way roster spots this season, when you look at players like Gigi Jackson, like Jacob Gilliard, and the fact that they were able to play so many minutes throughout the entirety of Summer League, that's exactly what you want, and that carries with it some good momentum going into the rest of the season. Williams 
Williams Jr. This, this is going to be an awesome opportunity for him. You know, rookie season, you know, a little up and down when it came to you know navigating a couple of injuries here. You know, not a lot of opportunities with the Grizzlies, but when he did get his opportunities with the hustle, really saw some growth uh, in his aggressiveness. You know, playing an efficient style, playing off the second side, playing off of go and catches. You know, having some good finishing opportunities, grow in those areas, and obviously his shot making is something that jumped out to us when he was coming out of college. Versatility as a playmaker on offense, versatility defensively, guarding on ball, guarding guys and pick and rolls, but especially guys coming off of screens. So we're going to challenge him here in the summer league to really showcase that. Uh, he's put a lot of work in the last couple of months since the season ended, really working on his playmaking package, ball handling abilities, but also just that confidence from that three-point line. And his health is the biggest thing. Now he's had an opportunity the last couple of months to be healthy, put in the work. Now he gets the five-on-five -five opportunity. Going to see him grow a lot on both sides of the floor. Williams, he'll step in the line. Vince Williams Jr. to me was the most impressive player in summer league. And while he didn't necessarily lead the team in scoring, and, and you look to Jake Larabee and Kenneth Lofton Jr. for that, the fact that he really flashed his abilities as a 3 and D player is really exciting for the Grizzlies. He shot 42% from deep, and the change in defensive activity when Vince Williams Jr. was on the floor was huge. And this is a guy who, yes, it's summer league and wins and losses don't matter, but when Vince Williams Jr. was on the court, the Grizzlies won games for Summer League. So I call him the Summer League X Factor, and I think he had a lot of exciting things that flashed through his 